Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023 with Dr. Rick Abramson. He is CMO of Annalise AI, an AI developer. Rick, thanks for being with us today. Great to be here with you, Brian. Yeah, so we're here uh, at uh, RSNA 2023, last day of the show. So we've had a chance to kind of take a look at what some of the themes are here at the meeting. And it seems like AI has really, you know, once again grabbed headlines here. Do you feel like that's the case? Yeah, absolutely. AI is still huge. It's still the talk of the town. And uh, I tell you, if uh, if traffic at the booth is any indicator, uh, AI is uh, is still going strong and very much here to stay. Very good. So any, any particular themes that, you know, things that you've seen here at RSNA that you think were particularly interesting? Yeah, well, I'll start off by saying that we're exhausted, uh, which is uh, it's a good problem to have, though. I, we don't have enough demo stations, you know. Uh, people are just, uh, everybody's coming around to kind of take a look at the, at the latest stuff. I would say that uh, a big theme this year is report generation, so automated generation of reports. Uh, we've introduced our own solution. There are some other uh, vendors in the room that have introduced theirs. Um, but I think this is going to be a very, very important source of debate over the next 12 months. People are going to be talking about uh, how to validate these solutions, how to get them into workflows, um, and I think the market is uh, is really ready for this, especially outside the United States. Uh, and I I, I, did, I do need to say that that's going to be a, a kind of a rest of world uh, rest of world uh, solution, I think for now. Um, but uh, but everybody's really interest, interested in it. What, what do you think of some of these some of the research that's been going on into generative AI to create reports? It sounds like. You know, there's there's a lot of potential there, but you've got some you know weird things going on, like the hallucination effect and these large language models, you know, spitting out some kind of crazy stuff. Do you think that that's got some potential? Yeah, so interesting. So we're we're now in the post G, post jet, chat GPT world, right? Everybody's talking about uh, generative AI, large language models. Uh, we see some actually in the room, some uh, LLM based report generation tools. Um, that's going to be very. That's going to be central, I think, to the debate going forward. Uh, whether you can use uh, LLMs and and if so, how. Um, so I mentioned that we introduced our uh, our solution, our report generation solution. We've actually made the decision as a company not to double down on LLMs. We're, we're taking another route uh, exactly because of that hallucinogenic effect that you mentioned. Uh, we feel that if you try to go from an image to text, that uh, there are if there's hallucinations, there's stochastic randomness, there's chaos that can be introduced into the report. What we prefer to do is to anchor our report generation very deterministically in a set of validated, defined AI inference outputs, uh, outputs that can be measured, that you can tweak the performance thresholds on, uh, that you can measure, that you can validate, and from there to construct the, the report. So it's a very different approach. Uh, we'll see what wins out uh, in the marketplace and kind of what, uh, what what's proven, uh, but that's the approach that we've taken. All right, very good. What are some of the other things that Annalise AI is, is showing here at RSNA? Well, okay, in addition to, uh, to launching report generation, we're also launching officially in the United States. Uh, so up until now, we've kind of been in soft launch mode. Uh, now we're official, officially launching what we call Annalise Triage. Uh, it's a version of our larger enterprise product uh, with all FDA approved triage algorithms. Uh, proud to say that we have five algorithms for chest x-ray, seven algorithms for non-contrast head CT, uh, really designed to you know, provide value by expediting care, uh, making sure that urgent reports are bumped to the top of the list, uh, reduce time to diagnosis, reduce time to treatment, uh, and so far very, very well received. And uh, we look forward to you know, entering the US market uh, and delivering us solution to, uh, to American patients. Very good. What, what can we look forward to seeing from Annalise in uh, 2024? Uh, so, uh, so we'll continue with report generation. Uh, and report generation, again, I'll, I, will, I will say the way that we've tackled report generation is a little bit different from some of the other uh, vendors in the booth. Uh, some other vendors are kind of just throwing report generation for everything. Uh, we're trying to be much more intentional, uh, much more, um, uh, much more uh, cautious, I guess, with report generation. And what we're doing is first constructing reports for normal 
exams, then we'll construct reports for simple exams, and progressively in concentric circles, construct reports for more and more complex studies. The reason we do that is because we want to make sure that radiologists don't have to erase reports and start over. We only want to generate reports if we think that we can generate a very, very high quality accurate report. And so over the course of the next 12 months, we're going to be progressively moving out in those concentric circles. Very, very excited to roll that out to the marketplace. Excited to uh, continue our work in the United States, excited to uh, go through regulatory and some other markets, and just excited to keep, our, keep going strong on revenue growth and growing our evidence base and uh, uh, growing our, our, our regulatory uh, and just uh, serving more and more patients. All right, very good. Well, we'll look forward to following you in uh, 2024. Appreciate it, Brian. Thanks for the time. Dr. Rick Abramson from Annalise AI, signing off from RSNA 2023. My name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. Thank <laughs> you.